I don't know how to make a video anymore and I'm I don't know I don't know I don't I've been gone for too long way too long I know I'm sorry too entirely too much going on and I'm gonna explain that in another video right now I'm talking about how to achieve perfect or almost perfect grades in college and in high school so let me put my glasses on so I look a bit smarter even though I don't look any smarter than what I am this is how you can get straight A's or almost straight A's in college and in high school I guess you can use this in high school as well is during the first week of school write down all your due dates assignment dates your homework dates your essay dates your exam dates for uh, you know any important days that you might think that will help you write it down on your phone and a calendar it is so important to do that because especially in college during syllabus week you're gonna get all your syllabi from all your professors correct so they're gonna give you a whole entire list of everything that you need to know and you know you'll never have to ask them when something is due because they're gonna say look at your syllabus and usually in high school they tell you to go look online so don't do an all-nighter this is for high school mainly for college students though um, don't pull an all-nighter I've done that before you if you don't know the information before 10 o'clock at night it's time to go to sleep girl cuz you are not gonna know the information it's it's not worth it just go to sleep sis you'll be if you fail you go fail regardless so um, step number one would be to go to class every day if you can't make it every day at least 90% of the time because the minute especially for college students the minute you miss a class you're gonna be you're gonna fall so behind because you're not gonna know anything um, number two get to know your professor sit in front of the class raise your hand if you have any questions speak up ask questions answer questions that they might be asking you in class and also speak with them after class whether it's your professor that you're speaking with or it's the uh, professor's uh, aide or teacher's aide or whatever it's called Number three would be to do any and all assignments, okay? So I know usually senior year of high school, they stop offering extra credit because they know that in college, they don't really give you extra credit. Usually nine times out of 10, college professors are not gonna offer extra credit. So this is why I'm saying to do all and any assignments, whether it's five points, two points, 100 points do every and all assignments and turn them all in on time number four it's to ask for help you know if you need help ask for it don't be afraid because if you don't ask for help and you don't get the help that you need or fail and it's gonna be just the whole so you, you don't want that number five is to get a tutor and go to the library um some people are pretty hesitant about getting a tutor i know i was especially all through high school i thought that i would have been really really stupid and really dumb if i got a tutor in high school or i would like wait till everyone left the class to ask for help because i don't want people to think i was stupid and even if that doesn't help make sure you just go to the library use your resources on campus and use your resources at school because that's what they're there for number six is to get better study habits this is so important as well because you can learn you can sit in class all day and not absorb anything i would just say to get sticky notes flashcards. the best way to learn something is also to teach someone or to tutor someone else especially if you're getting better at the subject yourself um also number seven is to check your grades daily this is so important because if you don't check your grades you're not gonna know what is going on with your grades and what you need to improve on like you literally have to log in every day just to check number eight goes along with the same thing kind of um, do extra credit as needed even if you think you won't need extra credit you'll, you'll be surprised at the end of that semester and you had an 89.8 and your professor talking about oh I'm not gonna round it up do the extra credit be a 90 and you'll pass number nine is to put academia before parties I know this is really hard especially for college students when you're first and you're transitioning into the college lifestyle and you're on a university and you just want to have the best time of your life but honestly academia is a lot more important than your social life in a party sometimes you might have a huge huge essay due Saturday night and you're not even done 
and you're trying to hurry up and get it done before 11.59 because everybody knows that's the deadline. 11.59 is that deadline, sis. So you're trying to hurry up. You're trying to type. You're trying to hurry up, get dressed, type this essay. Why are you putting on your makeup? No, sometimes you just got to sacrifice and sometimes you just going to have to miss that party. Nine times out of ten, the party ain't even that hype and it's the same shit over and over and over again. And number... 10 is to start off strong if you don't start off strong you're going to go absolutely nowhere with a 1.5 2.0 gpa it's going to be really 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 tough to get out of that ditch thank you guys for watching my uh advice video hope this helps you out hope you learned a lot and i hope you have a great and fantastic academic year I'm gonna go. Make sure you add me on Snapchat. Follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram. I don't know what I'm doing with my life, so yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go.